This evening we're in DIT Bolton Street, being hosted by the Law and Debating Society from DIT for the 57th final of the Irish Times debate. And we have a fantastic competition this evening. We've had speakers from UCD Law and LNH. We've had UCC Philosoph, TCD Phil and Salsi and some just fantastic speakers. And they were debating the motion, this house believes the women of Ireland should strike to repeal the Eighth Amendment. A strike will fill us with the false catharsis of protest and it will lead us to sit comfortably on our trending hashtag laurels while real policy is being decided elsewhere. A spectre is haunting Ireland, the spectre of Catholicism and that we must, we must seize the means of reproduction. <laughs> So this evening we had 12 speakers uh, debating, four teams of two people each on either side and then we had four single speakers also. I want you to think of that castle not 10 miles from here with its gates still open and a place at the table still set for the Irish woman who demanded it be so and refused to be ignored. When living and suffering are the same thing, something must be done. What is the use when women can't even control their own body? We also had the chairperson, uh, Minsla Catching Sapone, who gracefully sat in with us this evening. Uh, she gives a lot of time. We've just had uh, 12 amazing uh, debaters argue for and against Irish women striking to uh, repeal the Eighth, uh, and amazing arguments being given on both sides. But what I found most interesting is that there were arguments for and against striking, but everyone was in favour of repealing the Eighth. Like other events in the previous history of this debate, it's been a fantastic evening, a great debate in terms of political discourse, great standard of discussion and encounter discussion, and a great testimony to the event itself. The individual winner is Liam Morgan of South My name is Liam Morgan, I'm from Dublin, and I'm a trainee solicitor with, in Blackhall Place at the moment. And tonight I flabbergasted myself and won the best individual speaker at the Irish Times debate 2017. I was interested in debating when I was in my undergrad, but I always, it was one of those things where I saw a lot of very confident, very like, well-composed speakers do it, and I never thought I could quite do it myself. So it took me a long time to kind of build up the confidence and realise that speaking is something that I could do too. And the team winner is UCD Law E. In the team category, I think it was the combination of teamwork and a really substantive argument that debunked a lot of the myths on the motion. I think that was the key factor that went out. It, there's a couple of great names on it actually. There's Daryl Brains there, um, so that's pretty nice. Paul Anthony McDermott, one of the lecturers in UCD, is on it, which is pretty cool. Being him being one of my lecturers, he'll want me to start going to his lectures now. There's a lot of really prestigious names. It's really, it, it's a really nice, nice trophy to have. It's a competition that I've known about since I was about 14 years old, and I've known people who I admired so much, including my physics teacher who actually won it um, back in the 80s. And it's something that I've really just held in such high esteem, and to be here, even in the final, and to compete against such phenomenal teams um, who were all just so hilarious and just so, just such phenomenal speakers, and to win is just such an honour. And I can't believe, I can't believe we've won. 